Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve at home today. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. We talk about football helmets. We talk about face masks. We talk about visors. We talk about everything from the neck up that you wear on the football field. And if you're a collector, we got a whole bunch of collectibles that you can get your hands on as well. Today, we're doing a customer build for Chuck in Arizona. Steve. Hey, hey man. Thank you for your purchase. Jay, I'm missing being in the studio. I kind of wanted to be there for this one because this is new for us. This is new. This is the first time we're doing a, this is a Shut Vengeance A11 football helmet. This is basically the entry point for this line of helmets. And it's a great place to start. It's the, it's basically the, the helmet that we would recommend to somebody who's on a tight budget that just wants to get out there and play but doesn't have a whole lot of money this is this is basically your best option plain helmet nothing else you're coming in at like 100 bucks you add all of these pieces we're adding a visor a chin strap a face mask upgrade and some clips and all that stuff and i think you're still under 200 bucks for this whole thing youth is under 14 under high school if you're playing in high school i don't care what age you are you need an adult helmet if you're over 14 or 14 or over you need an adult helmet it's pretty nice. It weighs about 3.3 pounds without the face mask. Yep, yeah, it's got some good pads in here. This is the same kind of padding that you see in the adult helmets. And I'll be honest, Steve, if I didn't know any better, I would say this is pretty much, as far as the padding and all that stuff goes, it's the same thing as adult padding, just at a lower price point. And this guy right here, this is this, this, this is this, they call it like a, I don't know what it's called, a uni clip, a twist clip, whatever. Basically you take the, the face mask, you kind of lock it in just like so, kind of snaps into place. That doesn't really snap, it just kind of nudges into place. It's fine, it's lined up, I get it. Um, if there's an injury on the field, you need to remove the face mask, sure. You only have to do the, the clips on the side and then you gotta you can pop this mask off fairly easily. Getting visors to fit with these isn't the easiest thing. We have heard reports and seen situations. This is a really hard plastic, so if you're hitting a lot in this spot, one of these could break and you kind of snap off and now you have to get either a new one or a different clip. So we're just gonna go right out of the gate. We're gonna change these. Chuck, I'm going to include this with your order. So if you wanna put this back on for some reason, you're gonna have it. Um, but I like these better with these clips. So we're throwing these clips in. We sell these clips in little packs. Uh, so you can pick those up pretty easily. And of course, if you get all this stuff from Green Gridiron, whatever you get, we are going to assemble at no charge. You don't have to worry about it. So it'll be ready to go out of the box. A little bit of sacrilege here, Steve, I suppose, putting a Riddell chin strap on a shut helmet. We see shut chin straps on Riddell helmets. It's fine. I mean, the Riddell hard cups are nice chin straps. They really are. A foot long screwdriver. <laughs> That's fine. You don't need it to be anywhere close to this length. Uh, I have taped. We've taped our nuts, Steve. And you can see that in here. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got some really bright orange tape that we've used. Uh, but you can use anything. Once this is all put together, we're gonna take the tape out. It doesn't interfere with the aesthetic that we've got here. And that tape, I, I'd say for just holding your nuts down, when you're putting this all together, Steve, you can use Scotch tape, masking tape, duct tape, gorilla tape, whatever tape you want to use. Yeah, I would say don't try to use your fingers because if that T-nut starts spinning, it could really cut you and be a whole especially thing. If you're using, yeah, especially if you're using a drill. Yeah. Okay, so far, so good. Nice and easy. We've got a clear sky visor going in here. Let's look at how easy this pops in. And by removing that clip and going with these kind of more standard clips. Now the center tab of this visor has a place to sit and stay.
we're not going to put these on. So you also got a red warning label and boss tech flag to go on the back of the helmet. We're going to let him apply those later on. He's going to have a whole bunch of uh, flag decals and put them on his laptop or locker or wherever. Steve, this is it. We're done. How's she look? It's that easy. I've always had a thing for this visor because it's just enough color while still being pretty clear. It looks great. Nice color choices, Chuck. Yeah, we've got Memorial Day coming up, so maybe this will be our Memorial Day video. What do you think? Ah, perfect. Yeah, that is nice. I do like this. Um, it came out great once again. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for every, everybody else for kind of supporting Green Gridiron. Uh, go check out our website. We've got plenty of helmets for sale there. We've got field use helmets, youth and adult, and we've also got collectibles from Shut and Riddell, NFL and college. Um, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think of this thing. If you're in the market for one of these helmets or if you're looking to get a helmet or you want a helmet, which kind of helmet do you want? Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching.